Hi, this is Kerry with Optical Structures, and we're going to look at how to read the transmission report for an optical filter. So what we have here is a Lumicon Deep Sky filter. It's packaged with its individual scan report, so we're going to go ahead and pull that out and take a look at it and go over how to interpret this. So what we have here is a graph showing the percent transmittance up to 110% just so we can see the top. And then this is the, the wavelength. So 400 is close to, into the deep blues and, and purples and 700 is uh, deep red. These are the limits of human vision. Uh, so if you just, from left to, cry, left to right we go from blue to green to red. So it's a representation of color. And then this is just how much light comes through. So you can see on the extreme edge of the scale, um, at 400 nanometers, it's, it's blocking. Nothing's coming through, 0%. And then as we transition here to, let's say, 500 nanometers, we're very close to 100% transmission. Um, so now w to come up with what this means um, in terms of astronomy, there, we have a chart down here. Uh, showing the various wavelengths of different emission bands. For instance, 496 and 501, those are the oxygen-3 emission bands. So uh, objects like the Veil Nebula, they emit in O3. So we can see that this filter transmits at 99.14% at 501 and 98% in 496. So that is, those are the O3 bands that are right here coming through nicely. Um, out here at 656, this is H alpha. So it's showing this is giving us the nice H alpha emission zones. Um, so these are the items that we want to see in the sky. And then these are the block bands. These are these particular wavelengths are light pollution, mainly from sodium vapor and metal halide lamps. So they emit very strongly on these very specific uh, wavelengths and you can see that this filter is designed it's only transmitting like 0 0.08, 0 0.19, 0 0.11 percent so all those things are in this area here and being blocked by this filter so what this filter does is block all the uh, pretty well-known light pollution and transmit the objects the emission bands of interest so that's how you read a filter uh, scan report Thank you.